Encrypt than Mac is a layered approach to provide both confidentiality as well as authenticity to the data exchange between a sender and a receiver. The inner layer is the layer encrypting the data into a ciphertext, and the outer layer is then the layer providing authenticity to the ciphertext by making use of a message authentication code system such as an HMAC. As a result, the encrypt then MAC approach results in a ciphertext and a MAC tag for the ciphertext, both of which would need to be transferred from a sender to a receiver in order for the receiver to verify the authenticity of the data received. A precondition for the encrypt then MAC approach is that both the sender and receiver are in possession of identical copies of two symmetric keys, where the first symmetric key is the key used for the symmetric encryption system used on the inner encryption layer, and the second symmetric key is used for the message authentication code system used on the outer layer of the encrypt then MAC approach. In the following, I will demonstrate how an encrypt and MAC approach can be implemented in Python by making use of AES as the symmetric encryption scheme and by making use of HMAC with SHA-256. Going into the demo of implementing an encrypt and MAC approach, I first outlined the high-level steps required to execute the system. The precondition is to have two symmetric keys that can be used for the symmetric encryption system and the MAC system. Then the sender has to encrypt a plain text and calculate a MAC tag over the ciphertext. The ciphertext and MAC tag then need to be sent to the receiver and the receiver then has to verify the received MAC tag and then, if successfully verified, decrypt the ciphertext to obtain the original plaintext. The first symmetric key required is the key for AES, which I chose to be a randomly sampled 256-bit key. The second symmetric key required is the key for HMAC SHA-256, which I chose to be a randomly sampled 256-bit key as well. The sender then needed to have some plain text, which I chose to be a simple byte string with the title of this course. The first step for the sender in the encrypted MAC approach is then to encrypt this plain text with the symmetric encryption system into a ciphertext. This I delegated to a yet to be implemented function encrypting the plain text with AES behind the CBC mode of operation. As a second step for the sender, this ciphertext is then authenticated where the authentication is captured in the MAC tag calculated by HMAC SHA-256, which I also delegated to a yet to be implemented function. The ciphertext and MAC tag are then sent to the receiver. The receiver then has to verify that the recalculated MAC tag matches the received MAC tag, which I delegated to another yet to be implemented function. Assuming the MAC verification succeeded, thus allowing the receiver to assume the received ciphertext is authentic, the receiver then in a second step proceeds into the decryption of the received ciphertext to then recover the original plaintext sent by the sender. Proceeding then into the implementation of the AES-256 CBC encryption, then required to first pad the data, to then generate a 128-bit random initialization vector, and to then encrypt the plaintext into a ciphertext by making use of AES encryption with CBC and the given key.
as the initialization vector needs to be available to the receiver as well. I made my life easy for this demonstration and just prepended the initialization vector to the ciphertext and returned the overall cipher data as a byte string. The AES-256 CBC decryption then required to first parse the received cipher data into an initialization vector and the ciphertext to then recover the padded plain text by triggering the AES decryption with CBC and the given key and then as a last step to remove the padding in order to retrieve the plain text. After this, left to implement were the HMAC SHA-256 tag creation and tag verification functions, which were quite short functions to write by instantiating the cryptography library HMAC with SHA-256 and by triggering the corresponding tag creation and tag verification methods. Once these functions were implemented, I went back to the driver and rerunning the driver then indicated that the implementation indeed was an encrypted and MAC system that first allowed a sender to encrypt then MAC a plain text and a receiver to successfully verify the authenticity of a received ciphertext based on the received MAC tag and to then recover the original plain text in case the received ciphertext was successfully authenticated. This was quite a straightforward implementation, but nevertheless interesting from an educational purpose point of view.